Well, hey guys, today I thought we might talk a little bit about a couple of hidden dangers up at the bridge collapse site and lots going on. And this is just a couple that I've actually experienced here with the golden ray removal. And I want to share a little bit of this with you guys. Uh, there is a tide in Baltimore. Water comes up and down. It's not as drastic as it is here, but there is moving water underneath the bridge and around that wreck site. One of the potential dangers is scouring. If you've ever been to the beach and had a wave come up over your feet and then run back out, you kind of experience this. As the water rushes out around an object, it tends to speed up and it'll cause scouring and it will scour out soil behind uh, that object. We saw this in the Golden Ray. One of the arrest measures that they attempted was actually placing uh, containers down in the water around the ship to try to divert that flow and prevent it. They put down concrete matting as well as stones. Uh, all this material had to be pulled back up after the process was over. Now, what does that mean for the guys on site? Well, the bridge is sitting, that debris is sitting on the bottom, water's moving over it. If scouring becomes an issue, it can cause that structure become unstable where it's sitting and cause it to shift, move, and it is a tremendous danger to those guys that are working on the site. The good thing there in Baltimore, again, you don't have quite the flow that what we experienced uh, with the Golden Ray operation, but it's something worth noting. Uh, secondly, on some of the images we got from Unified Command yesterday, uh, we saw the containment boom being placed around the ship, which this is a good thing when you see this yellow or orange colored containment boom, uh, they're putting it around as a, a preventative measure. What you don't wanna see is the absorbent pad Usually when you start to see that, that's it starts out as white, but it quickly becomes darkened as it picks up that HFO or heavy fuel oil. And that's a big concern. It is nasty, nasty stuff. We had quite an experience with it during, uh, during the Golden Ray incident here in coastal Georgia in the St. Simon Sound. And this is some really nasty stuff. It's about the consistency of honey, and it doesn't necessarily all come to the surface. You would think it would, but this stuff is so dense, it'll sometimes move in the water column up and down, and it sticks to everything. It's, it's just really horrible stuff, and we certainly don't want to see an incident like this where the environment becomes compromised because of an oil spill, not in that area. Certainly not in that area because it, the effects from that can be devastating. Well, that's all we got for today. We're still waiting on a report from Unified Command. Hey, you guys be safe out there.